are you doing in my swamp? Hello, everybody. This is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my ranking for all four movies of Disney's new Dark Age. Um, now, this isn't an official era. This is just what I'm dubbing this era until it's given a name, but right now I'm calling it the New Dark Age because so far it, it's just like it was in the Dark Age. Whether the movie had critical acclaim or not, the movies have been underperforming and <clears throat> everything. So I thought I'd just consider this the New Dark Age because that's pretty much what we're in. We're going to be getting pretty much nothing but sequels because these four movies flop. So even if the next phase does start, a new era with Zootopia 2 or whatever. I'm considering these four its own era. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Coming in at number four is Strange World. Now, this movie isn't near as bad as a lot of people say it is. It's not really that bad at all. I actually kind of enjoyed it. It's a fun adventure film. It's kind of a thr throwback to movies like Journey to the Center of the Earth or. Uh, stuff like that just a fun adventure movie and, and I thought it was okay it did have a plot twist that I did not really see coming but at the same time it makes a lot of sense by the time it ends that this that the world that they're visiting is actually a living being creature thing and they're actually inside it instead of actually being in another world and everything so I, it, it all makes sense but it just um, I don't think it's the super best movie ever. I think it's okay. It has some cool educational stuff in there. I like if I had kids and stuff, I'd let them watch it and stuff because it has some cool science stuff in it. But all in all, Strange World isn't one of the best. So it's number four. And number three is Wish. I really debated on whether this one was going to be number three or number one because I really do enjoy this movie. And then I found out more of the behind the scenes stuff and like how this movie was supposed to originally be and it could have been so much better so I dropped it down to number three but this movie is actually not near as bad as everybody says either this one's like Strange World I think it's not as bad as everyone says the animation is pretty good here although I, it does kind of feel unfinished a little bit but I think it's just because it's a new style and everything you got the traditional backgrounds with the computer animation and it, it they don't blend as well together as you would expect like you could have 3d backgrounds with traditional animated and it works amazing like in Tarzan and movies from the Renaissance this movie did the opposite and it just it kind of has a weird look to it but at the same time it's also really gorgeous to look at and really beautiful and stuff the songs are eh, they're all right they're not the best Disney songs I do think this wish is pretty decent and the, the, the songs are okay uh, this is things I get and some of the other ones are okay I think King Magnifico is a pretty decent villain and everything not not the best but he's definitely decent he's one of the better ones in recent years um, so yeah wish is number three and number two is Encanto um, this movie I can't deny is just a blast from start to finish. Mirabelle is such a lovable lead character and everything and the whole Madrigal family are great. There's stuff that they all have their own moments to shine and their personality quirks that make them each lovable in their own way. And Disney has hinted that this could be their next franchise. So we might be seeing a lot more of them. I'd be more willing to as long as they give the other family members time in the spotlight too and everything I think that they could make this a, a fun enough franchise and stuff now, I'm not saying that we need a whole bunch of movies or anything but I could see it working if they they did more stuff but they keep that family dynamic core to it and um, even make the movies where that they're doing more stuff with the family I think that would be even awesome and stuff so th this movie is is decent it's not one of my most favorites but it, it's it's pretty good so in Kanto, um is number two and like I said it's one of the better movies of this this era and everything but I think all four of these movies are at least pretty good but this one is is great and everything and coming in at number one is 
Raya and the Last Dragon. Now this is one of those movies that was dumped on Disney Plus and in theaters at the same time. And you could pay to watch it on Disney Plus or pay to go see it in the theater. I, I just paid to see it in the theater and I really enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I've always enjoyed it ever since I first saw it. Like every time I rewatch it I expect the quality to go down for some reason but every time I rewatch it I like it even more. Like this is one of those movies that I just absolutely love. And out of all of these movies, um, I know Encanto is probably going to start a franchise. This one is one that I would have liked to see start one because the world that is introduced in here, the world building and stuff, is so great in this movie that I would love to spend more time with some of the characters or even re or visit some of the stuff before this movie, like, like see the dragons in their prime and stuff having to go on adventures and stuff. Like, like there are things that they could do with this movie, but... I think Ryan the Last Dragon is a really, really good time, and it's easily my favorite movie of Disney's New Dark Age. Um, so, anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite movies of Disney's New Dark Age is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.